So, three races from just what I at work then to end my stint for day one. It's the Warwick Norris' chase first up. It's a three mile chase. And Art Seat is at the top for Leon Van Rensburg. James Bond for David Hooley. Wouldn't it be good, Leon Van Rensburg? Dawn of Lost, Joshua Sutherland. Finding Alice Martin, Lena Maycaster, Malvis, Darren Thompson. Dawn Ranger, David Robertson. Shaloon Adamson, Ben Bonici, and Ozark Slide for Vinnie Gerrard. So, nine this time to face the startup. Called in and away with a caster Malbis. The first one to show the jockey just giving it a bit of a scrub along to make sure it gets into a clear lead. And it leads by two or three. Now it's pulling for its head and the jockey wants to restrain it as they get to the first. And they're all safely over the first of the 19 fences with Shallow Adamson just the back marker. Leon Van Rensburg, the only trainer doubly represented in this one as they take the first ditch. With fence number two and a caster Malbis in the lead. From the first of the Van Rensburg pair, wouldn't it be good? Then Dawn of Lust on the outside of Ozark Slide, who's on the outside of James Bond, who's on the outside of the local horse Finding Alice the Only Great, as they get to the next hand. James Bond was far from foot perfect at that. Second, Leon Horse, Art Teachers after that one, as they get to the fourth. And all popped over that one nicely with Dawn Ranger and the Turquoise and Maroon hoops of David Robertson now the back marker as Shannon Adamson momentarily goes past it and those hand and Almac tomb silks for Ben Benici as they get to the fifth. And over that one they go and they're all safely over number five. With A Caster Malvis, a good six lengths clear. Wouldn't it be good second? And Dawn of Lust is third, Ozark Slide is fourth. Then Art Teacher and James Bond. Shannon Adamson, Finding Alice, and finally Dawn Ranger. And this next ditch then leader took that a bit slowly, and the one at the back, Finding Alice, is gone. So the local horse is out on ships the pilot. A winner last week, but not so this. And A Caster Malvis continues to ball along in front. Ozark slide down on its nose that time. As they race up the straight. Caster Malvis again a little bit slow over it, but safe enough from Dawn of Lost in second. And then wouldn't it be good in third? And Ozark slide next and then a slow jump by Art Teacher. James Bond is after that one. And Dawn Ranger on the outside, so passing the big screen then and past the winning post with a complete circuit of this Warwickshire track to go. And Shannon Adamson is back at the back. Well, it's Acaster Malvis who's the leader. Acaster Malvis it is. He leads by three lengths to Dawn of Lost in second. And wouldn't it be good? His third, and Ozark Slide is four. James Bond is five, and Art Teacher is six. And then Dawn Ranger seven. And finally, in eighth place at the back, Shallow and Adamson, which is the one departed the race so far. And it's Acaster Malvis who's in the lead. Racing out of sight of the stand shortly, and Acaster Malvis pops over that tenth in the lead. Dawn of Lust second, and James Bond third. And Ozark slide, and wouldn't it be good? An art teacher, Sharon Adamson still keep in touch with him at the back. But Acaster Malvis is still the clear leader with a mile and a quarter to go. Dawn of Lust second. James Bond third, Art Teacher fourth. Ozark Slide on the outside fifth. Here comes Dawn Ranger, wouldn't it be good? And finally Shannon Adamson. And right, Caster Malvis gets over number 11. Nothing's taken the lead off him so far in this one. Dawn of Lust is second, James Bond is third as they get over that ditch. We'll drop that one nicely. Caster Malbis there to be shot at in the lead but still a good two and a half lengths clear of Dawn of Lust second James Bond over it third mistake again by Ozark Slide not doing that one's chances any good Caster Malbis over the 14th oh, TJ now jumped into second 
and James Bond and Dawn have lost together with just behind them Dawn Ranger trying to get into it. Under a bit of pressure is, wouldn't it be good? They get to the 15th, and over that one they all go. And wouldn't it be good just about relegated to last by Shallow and Adamson? But Haycaster Malbis still leads, but only by a length and a half. Two Art Teacher and Dawn have lost. Ozark slide making some good ground round the outside. That was made a couple of mistakes, remember? If it wasn't for that, would we'll probably be up in a little bit closer. But it's Haycaster Malbis who's gone three clear again. Kick for home this one, I think, over that ditch. Leaves just three more to take up this straight then now. And it's Acaster Malbis, Art Teaching, Hot Pursuit in second, then Dawn of Lust. Ozark sliding, wouldn't it be good on the outside? They get over the third last. And Acaster Malbis is now joined by Art Teacher, and Art Teacher's just poked its head in front. It's Art Teacher then from Acaster Malbis, and wouldn't it be good? Two to jump, not a very long run in over the second last they go. And it's Art Teacher in front by a length to Acaster Malbis in second. Then comes wouldn't it be good? And Dawn of Lust, and then Dawn Ranger trying to run on. They're coming down towards the final fence in there, and over it they go, and it's wouldn't it be good? who's jumped into the lead wouldn't it be good but here comes Dawn Ranger trying to close and so too Dawn of Lust but it's wouldn't it be good still in the lead here comes Dawn of Lust Dawn Ranger and it's wouldn't it be good holds on the line wouldn't it be good from Dawn of Lust and Art Teacher and Acaster Malbis and all the way back to Shaloon Adamson and the post coming just in time for wouldn't it be good short running and wouldn't it be good for Leon Van Rensburg the winner Dawn of Lust, Joshua Sutherland second, Art Teacher Leon Van Rensburg third, Acaster Malbis, Darren Thompson fourth, and Dawn Ranger for David Robertson was fifth.